Oh, hello. Welcome to my office. I am Skull Jim, and this is my game room. Starting over here, we've got all my consoles. Move Matt's laptop bag out of the way there. We've got a Sonic storage box, it's supposed to be a Bluetooth speaker, and uh, this is where I keep all my retro controls for all the consoles I've got down here. So we've got an original Xbox, Crystal, Xbox 360, and then this is my Mega Drive, Mega CD um, combination. PS2, PS3, PS5's over here under the desk, and then I've just got a uh, Astro City arcade stick there. The Astro City, so you can see it on the top of the, the unit. We've got my mini consoles. I've got my Mega Drive Mini 1, Mega Drive Mini 2. There is a Neo Geo Mini in the back, the SNES Mini, um, a GameCube, and then we've got a Wii. Uh, there's a PS VR. Just a box there, it's just tucked on the way there, and then obviously it's sat in the Dreamcast, of course. Um, yeah, oh, no. didn't do that. Um, this is my Kickstarter Shemu 3 back here, I think it's with grab bag tier, and I've got a Shemu 2 backpack underneath there as well. And then um, you'll see various things that are likely to fall that are um, from uh, Mega Drive Minis and stuff there. We've got some nice uh, promotional Shemu 2 standy box thing. Tails are one from Joyopolis in or Joypolis in Tokyo with Diver. Shemu Cap, Shemu Xbox, uh, Xbox, Shemu Dreamcast, Japanese Dreamcast. Some little standy at the back there. And um, that's a uh, pre order game sleeve in a case. Limited run. I've got a sealed. I don't know if you can see it there, back there. The sealed Shemu 3 Collector's Edition, the rear forklift, this amazingly rare jigsaw, which I've got framed up the wall on the wall over there. And just some various Funko Pops. You can see Sonic, Michael Jackson. Of course, my Landy Bust, which is uh, my signature piece, really. Just insane. There's a little bit of hand drawn artwork from, um, what's the dude's name? Kenji Miyake. Kenji Miyake. And he's assigned um, stick to authenticity. Um, moving over here, we've got the music box, and the little Shenmue standy. Um, Took behind Supersonic, we've got me Rio figure, and some Thursday figures, Sonic figures, Sonic, Shadow, Silver, Eggman. Very cool. Really like those. And then this is my uh, PC setup with the secret lab chair recommended by Matt. And uh, yeah, really good. I'd recommend it myself now. This is where I do my whatever PC gaming searching stuff and um, my Mac for like Shemu World and all that sort of stuff there. And then over here is my first shelf of games, uh, all PS4. You can see, sadly, in alphabetical order, <laughs> all the way down to, I think it stops about here ish. Is the wise and then it goes into PSVR of which I believe I've got the full set so far that have been released I'm just waiting on a few um, from limited run games to arrive and they come all the way down to here 
And then we've got some big box stuff down here I've tucked away. There is a Sonic Colors limited edition box you may have seen on my channel and the Bayonetta one tucked away at the back there. And then at the front, a lot of like PS4, PS5, PSVR sort of titles there. I'm sure you can read the names. And this is pretty cool. This is the Game Gear Micro Rakuten exclusive case that houses actually all these pins and the, the four consoles there, four little micro Game Gear consoles. And then moving on to my next shelving unit, this features pretty much all of my Shenmue collectible items. Um, they're all kind of crammed on the shelves. Uh, we'll have a quick closer look. I'm not going to go through everything because these are a shit ton to be honest. Um, probably the most proud item I've got, or well, the item that I'm most proud of, is this original Shemu Timex watch signed by Suzuki. Um, got this signed at Magic Monaco. That might even be the right time, Matt. <laughs> I think. Pretty Five close. to midnight. Um, yeah, so it's like the, the actual Shemu um, Timex watch in a gorgeous box. I've got signed US Shemu. Peter got signed for me many years back. Signed um, Shemu 1 for the original soundtrack by Ryuji Uichi. Um, and that's that's the D3T team that signed all that there, didn't they? And there's a few rare items. Um, some of this stuff's quite interesting. CD case, carrier case. Show this to you earlier than Tosa. There we go, pretty cool. Show me free fun. <laughs> Not that we need it this uh, time of year. And this is quite a cool, rare Shemmy watch. You may have not seen too much. That was with the grab bag. Very cool. Got a rare floating pen, which is absolutely tiny. I was, I was shocked actually when I got it, how tiny it is. Um, there's another pen there actually, that's a biro. Um, I don't know if you want to see that. I'll try and get it out quickly. You don't see too many of these either these days. Just a simple little, I think this was one of the premier items. Simple little pen. <laughs> the ink probably doesn't work, but yeah, it's, it is Shemu branded little biro. Um, yeah, it's nice. Obviously, I love my Shemu items, so I've got tons of it. I've got the um, Shemu Tech Toy, Brazilian. Um, Rarity. Spine's the, the nicest aspect of that, so that's why it just tucks in nicely there. And um, what else is notable, Matt? Ooh. It was that Mount um, Shemu Online calendar was pretty cool. I've got it tucked away up here. It's the only one I've seen of this. An official Shemu Online. Obviously, the game never got released. We've actually got a podcast all about Shemu Online launching just before Christmas. If you're interested in the history of Shemu Online, what it was all about, um, we did a pretty good job with the episode. Yeah, check that out. Just leave that there for now. Um, a few little nice bits and bobs. Shemu 2 mouse mat. Nice Shemu 1 standy. VHSs, X and Love editions, perfume of course. I've got some sealed, um, I forgot what they're called. They're not called sample, are they sample? They might be sample. Yeah, they're sample ones. Sample ones, yeah. This is quite a cool, is it there? It might be there. It might be a bastard to get out one second. If it is what I'm thinking. I've only seen this once. And it's a uh, promo CD sampler. Bakumi is Shemu, you're my only. You know that song, mm -hmm. Yeah. I think she did the Wish song, didn't she, as well? Yeah, she did. I believe. I'm yeah. very sure she did. Yeah, so that's pretty rare. Um, small games, Japanese, US. Um, there's a seal Japanese as well. There is Shemu 2, and um, I think one of those is the limited. They might, one of the, That's the limited edition Shemu 2, yeah. And then that's the limited edition Shemu one. Just come with extra discs, I think. One comes with a jukebox soundtrack and two comes with Virtual Fighter 
four demo or something. That's it, yeah. Show me two demos, quite rare, rare rather. Um, this is a cool stamp rally book. Actually complete as well. All the stamps, whoever did this back in the day, went to all the stations and got all the stamps, which is pretty cool. And there is some pens actually that go with the stamp rally book. There's a, a carry bag he must have handed out at the time. And we've got a blue and green Shemu pens, if you're into your pens, guys. Um, these are the Game Jam beta discs that we released um, as part of Lemonades and um, Laurent at the team. We released those not too long ago. Prem, Prem, uh, promo Shemu 3. I've got Promo. That's quite a rare Shemu 3 DVD for stores. Show me one or two promo, show me one or two promos, some demo discs and stuff. Um, this is probably a, a nice item to see, we'll show this off. I won't do too much more, but this is a uh, an original phone card frame, really nice. Nicely presented. And um, art books in the back there, some notebooks. Moving down, we've got a lot of Shenmue um, covers for like various video game magazines. There are some nice items down there as well that I'm not going to pull out, but um, I might do a separate video at some point on Shenmue stuff. The anime um, pouches, a uh, full set of the anime postcards. And there's the actual winning postcard that they sent through the post. Um, full set of the coasters. And um, this is my Shemu, Shemu PlayStation 2, um, Sega Ages 2500 collection, or 2500, whatever you called. Really cool, actually, that set. Okay, so the first one comes with Filofax. So as you go around collecting each of the things, they all come with a Filofax sort of entry for the game. So Fantasy Zone. Bonanza Brothers there, Matt. Hey. <laughs> and you can actually see all them. Got some nice history pieces. All about them. That's pretty cool. And um, moving down the shelf below that, we've got all four of the premium mugs, and then that was the one that was sold in the Sig shop, wasn't it? The Bidden Planet mug. Test printer Rio X there, that's what I use for the um, actual Rio X print CD. Um, some guides, some bags. I showed that one off recently, that was that carry bag. There's the Premier bag. Loads of t-shirts. I think I've done a video on my t-shirt collection. Um, although I have added a couple more since, but um, pretty much as, as you were. Next shelf is my complete pal. Sega Saturn collection, um, obviously notable titles like Panzer Dragon Saga there, I've got an acrylic case, um, yeah, every single game, so <laughs> I've got a, couple, a few American titles there, and on the very top shelf there was um, a few Japanese stuff, I've got a few different variations of the Saturn, that's the Victor Saturn, I think that's just a standard white one. And then a standard black one, perhaps. I have got a grey. Have I got a grey one? I don't know. I might be thinking of that one. Yeah, that's just a white one. Isn't it? I do use a white one as well. And I think one of these is my original black satin. And that's the controller for the bit to satin. It's a bit different with the coloured buttons. And there's my uh, arcade stick for the satin. Next shelving unit. Meg Drive Games. First two, I'm going to open these so you can actually see. Japanese Dreamcast games. Um, I was kind of getting into collecting at one point. Um, I'll show you in a minute my, my PAL's Dreamcast collection. But after collecting for the, the PAL, um, actual PAL games, I got the US exclusives that weren't released in PAL territories. And then I started to do um, Japanese, that's why I've got a row of them, but then I just stopped because they're mostly like anime 
themed sort of games. Nintendo DS, a bit mixed on them. Um, some of them are my wife's. You can see Hello Kitty, a few Hello Kitty games and stuff like that. Uh, Mega CD collection so far. Um, I'm not actively collecting for Mega CD, but if I do see anything that's um, reasonable, I might pick it up. Some CD soundtracks, mostly Sonic, but Nights into Dream soundtrack there, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then Xbox 360. Um, after Dreamcast, I went to original Xbox, and then Xbox 360 was kind of like my, my console I went from there. So I didn't actually touch a PlayStation console until... Oh God. PS4, I think, or PS3. It was like my first Sony console. Um, original Xbox games there. Some really cool titles when I, you actually look at what there is. Jet Set Radio Future, you know, Panzer Dragoon Auto, Outrun 2, Outrun Coast to Coast, Togi, Crazy Taxi 3 is on here. You've got a lot of Toe Jam & Il, like Sonics and um, a lot of Sega games that didn't actually make it to the Dreamcast carried over into the Xbox. So the Xbox has got a pretty good place in my collection, my heart. I really like the original Xbox actually, it's got some good fun games on. And then there's, I think that's a full set of the demos for the Xbox, but I'm not sure that stops at 29, so that might be right. <laughs> no. uh, a small little uh, Wii U collection, didn't really get into the Wii U. Slightly bigger Wii collection. Again, mostly all Sega titles actually, if you look. But what I've actually got, Alien Syndrome. Um, what's that? Oops, and then it's going to go off. Um, what's that game in the corner there? Conduit, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's Sega, Conduit 2. Um, that is Geometry Wars, that's just because I like Geometry Wars on Xbox, but then you've got Ghost Squad, that LA machine gun game, that's Sega, Job of Safari Sega, Let's Tap Sega, I think Link's Crossbow came with something, Mad Will Sega, <laughs> Marion Sonic Sega, obviously, Michael Jackson, just like Michael Jackson, Knights, um, very much, pretty much all Sega, San Domingo, Sega Last Fishing, um, which is quite crazy, it's like a Sega console to me, that collection. <laughs> and then GameCube in the corner, and then just some, some various books, um, some Shamu World test prints there. I've got nowhere else to put that stuff really. I've got 1 to 50 of the new Sonic the Comics, that's kind of stopped at 50. Um, signed perk games. Collector's Edition box, it's pretty cool, that's just because I'm into my PSVR. Um, this tube here is, I didn't show you this earlier Matt, this is the... Um, oh, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. I think it's gl Glicky or Glissel, whatever the paper's called. I never know how to pronounce it, it's like G-I-L-C or something, Gilsey. Uh, yeah, I probably should have put some gloves on for that, but uh, that was expensive. Isn't that an artist from Uncharted or something I made don't that? Know, mate. I don't I'm know. Sure. I just know it's officially licensed, so if, once it's official, I've, you've kind of got to buy it, haven't you? I'm sure. I'm sure. I can't even think what the website's called that sells that. Because he's not long stopped doing them. Alright. So this is my Sonic shelf, kind of, just bits and bobs. Um, not sure if I'm too happy actually with them, but there is some good stuff on there. Um, this is pretty cool. This is what I wanted back when the 25th anniversary happened. They did a, a show, I don't remember. And everyone got like a little bag and uh, press pass and stuff. And there's a 25th anniversary coin, which is really nice. Um, I think that's a little USB thing. The, Square thing that was part of the thing as well. Yeah. Yeah, Figures obviously, there's my dartboard, dart slide board, which we could have a game of, Matt. Just need to move these things out of the way. Got nowhere to put stuff really, that's the, the problem. Got too much stuff. Uh, vinyl collection, you've kind of seen me growing that on my channel. Um, if, you've, if you follow me, which is pretty. Again, I'm running out of space for that. I don't know what I'm going to do if I get another vinyl. <laughs> Um, some more first for figures figures. Um, these are nice, these all light up, but I took the batteries out because they start leaking if you leave batteries mm -hmm. and stuff too long, don't they? So obviously modern Sonic, then classic Tails, classic Knuckles, 
classic Metal Sonic, modern Supersonic at the bottom, that's a really cool one, I like that. I've got all the Supersonic Funkos at the bottom as well. Up here we've got a Rio and Mandy, obviously you saw a Rio and Mandy in my cases, but those were the mirror bases. These are the other bases, so that's the Dubuita sort of concrete street and Mandy's on the dojo street that you can't really see. A nice little hang-on figure, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, beat from Jet Set Radio. Another Shenmue 3 collector's edition for some reason. Oh, that's the open one. And then we've got um, Knights from Knights into Dreams. Vice from Skies of Arcadia. Tornado playing there with Kira. And uh, yeah, they're all above my complete PAL Dreamcast set. Uh, some official, well, I think that's the full set of official Dreamcast magazines as well and demo discs. And then I've got a Sega Pico for some reason with almost a full European Sega Pico. There's only about 10 games <laughs> for it. This is the table where I do the videos. I've got like a bit of a spotlighty thing, whatever they call them. Um, and then I literally just put that on top of my radiator, put my phone in, and then it points down. And uh, yeah, we've got some cool stuff on here. We've got this Shamu Guy pack, or Shamu City, which features a little notebook, a couple of clear files, a really nice bag actually, that I showed off recently. And in here is a, um, a strange USB stick, isn't it? It's like a Almost like hard. hard, isn't it? And it folds out. And um, it's like that. And that, it does fit inside the USB, which surprised me because it looks a bit like a phone, mm. so, something to do with a mobile phone or something, doesn't it? But you plug that in and it's got some, um, I don't know if they're exclusive or like press artwork for the game. Um, Shemmy City, we might do an episode on that at some point, Matt, right? But, Get Christmas out of the way first. Yeah. It was like a, um, it was only released for about a year, wasn't it? In Japan, yeah, but here in Japan, just on mobile. No didn't, idea. Didn't make the PC version, did it? What it was about. Um, a bit like a Mafia Wars game, I believe. Yeah, close. Close enough. And then we've got, I don't know, just out of the way. These are my Shemu binders. They've got like loads of, just flip through these. A lot of like advertisement leaflets and pamphlets and flyers um, from over the years. Some really nice ones. Shame of Movie, Shame of Two, Xbox, and um, the Sacred Spot guides I keep in here, including the new anime one, the anime leaflet. Some posters, bits and bobs, and some promo sleeves, adverts, and um, yeah, just some cool items in that one. The bigger one for the bigger housing ones, like the stamp rally, colouring, drawing things. Um, I showed that off recently as well, it's like the Digiland envelope. Um, sticker sheets, some more adverts, just some stuff that's a little bit slightly too big. Um, Premier clear files, there's four of them. There's four of them, you think of those sort of things. All, all these Niao Sun, Ren, Shenfor and Rio. Um, that's just a, a shop display piece that hasn't been used. Um, and yeah, just some bits and bobs under there. Shenmue 3 standee with my Sonic Mochi head. And inside the standee, I'm not going to get them all out, but those are pretty much all of my Shenmue posters. Um, various posters, I might do a video on them at some point. I just don't know how to film that stuff. And then just above the units, you may have seen these like just various shit that I've just tucked away, um, including, so these are the boxes for the mugs, Premier mugs. And then here we've got, get these down. This is the Shenmue calendar, Premier calendar. Some extra padding. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if anyone actually used these, 
back in the day. <clears throat> Very uh, fragile-y kind of thing. It's, it's just hooked at the top and you can like peel them off if you see. Rip them off so it's going to be quite difficult to show. Let's see if I can like tread on the top. Oh, might get a bit of a crop shot there. But you can see they're like full res, chamfer. Very awkward to do this actually. Some really nice oil whip. <laughs> Don't fucking rip. Uh, you get the idea, guys. You can see the full artworks if you're interested for these. Oh my god, I hate it when stuff like happens. On the uh, Shenmue Dojo Media site. <sighs> I don't even know how that, that'll do. Yeah, we'll sort that out in a moment. Um, this is my leather chair that I'm putting all this random stuff on, which does recline. Um, again, you get, kind of get the idea with that. You've seen reclining chairs, I don't know why I'm showing you that. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. Sonic artwork. Uh, have I missed anything, Matt? I think you're good. Pretty much good there, guys. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. That's my game drawing. <laughs>